Excellence is not a destination. It is a continuous journey that never ends. Hello, I'm Brian Tracy and I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. If approached correctly from the start, 2017 has the potential to be your best year yet. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up yourself for success in the new year. The first strategy for long-term success, which I actually discussed in my last video, is to get closure on your previous year. If you need some assistance on how to do that, take a look at that video by clicking the link at the end of this video. Getting closure on your previous year is the first step because without this moment of self-reflection, it will be very difficult for you to determine where you're headed in the future and the reasons why you maybe didn't achieve all the goals you set for yourself in the previous year. Remember, the purpose of this self-reflection about 2016 isn't for you to feel badly or guilty about not fully accomplishing those goals. Really big goals take a long time to achieve. The point is to recognize where you are in the process so that you can make a plan for moving forward and staying on track. The next strategy is to make a new list of goals that you plan to accomplish in 2017. These goals can be the same as ones you didn't quite achieve last year, or they can be completely new ones based on the year you've had and the new decisions you've made about your future. The next strategy is to deploy what I like to call the 10 goal method. This is my favorite. Take a sheet of paper and write the words 2017 goals at the top with today's date. Then write down 10 goals that you would like to accomplish this year. Then use the magic wand technique and imagine that you have no limitations of any kind. Write down 10 things that you would like to be or have or do this year as if each one of them were guaranteed to happen, as if you had no limits. So here are some guidelines for writing your goals. First, make sure you write them in the present tense as if your goal had already been achieved. For example, instead of saying, I will earn X amount of dollars each year, write, I earn X dollars each year. The reason we do this is because your subconscious mind can only register commands that are phrased in the present tense. Next, write your goals in the positive sense. So instead of saying, I will quit smoking, you would write, I am a non-smoker. Finally, write your goals in the personal tense. In other words, all of your goals should start with the word, I. This is the only way that your subconscious recognizes that this is a command coming from the head office, is when you say I plus an action verb in the positive sense. I earn X number of dollars this year. Now after you've written your 10 goals following these guidelines, ask yourself this question. What one goal on this list, if I could achieve it right now, would have the greatest positive impact on my life? Whatever your answer to that question, circle that goal. This goal now becomes your major definite purpose, your primary goal, and your most important decision. The next step in the 10 goal method is to make a plan. Transfer your primary goal that you just established to a clean sheet of paper and set a deadline for completion of that goal. So you could write, I achieved this goal by this date. Make a list of the difficulties you will have to overcome, the additional information and skills that you will require, and the people whose cooperation you will need to achieve this goal. Organize this information into a plan and then take action immediately to begin moving towards your destination. Any action is fine, but it's very important that as soon as you have your plan in place, you start right away on chipping away at the tasks you need to accomplish it. Finally, practice mindstorming on your goal. This process forces you to concentrate intensely on how to achieve your major definite purpose. Take a new sheet of paper and write your major definite purpose at the top of the page in the form of a question. For example, you could write, how can I earn X number of dollars by December 31st, 
2017. Then write 20 answers to this question. You can write more than 20 if you like, but you must discipline yourself to write a minimum of 20 responses to your question. By using this strategy from the very start of the year, you are setting yourself up for success in the new year. You will have a plan to follow and a destination that you know you want to reach. If you create this plan for yourself, you are sure to have an exciting year full of accomplishment, hard work, and a real sense of achievement. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with a thought to share with your friends and followers. Excellence is not a destination. It is a continuous journey that never ends. Now, I'd love to hear from you, so my question today is this. What's one thing that you can do today to start moving closer to your 2017 goals? Whatever it is, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember, if you want to change your future, take action and take action now.